Now, what is the definition of hypertension in general? So, uh, a centile based system is used. There are two categories which are defined. First, uh, see, there is a third category in which the definition of hypertension is tricky and we take the help of graphs or charts. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from Prep Ladder. Now, what is the definition of hypertension in children? So, uh, a centile based system is used. There are two categories which are defined. First, uh, see, there is a third category in which the definition of hypertension is tricky and we take the help of graphs or charts. So, that age group is infancy period. So, infancy period is usually not covered in these definitions. We will talk about uh, some points related to it. We will discuss separately. So, hypertension wise, the definition is of two parts. One is hypertension defined in 1 to 13 year age group and second is above 13 year age group. So, what is normal BP? So, a child aged 1 to 13 year, when you plot on a chart and if the BP is less than 90th percentile for age, gender and height, we say the child is having a normal blood pressure. Right? So, there is a centile based curve. If you plot it on that or if the values are given for percentile based uh, data and if it is below 90th percentile for that age and gender, you say the child is having normal BP. In an older person, we say if the systolic BP is less than 120 and diastolic BP is less than 80, then also we call it as a normal BP. Right? What is elevated BP? Elevated BP term is uh, was previously in the previous older classifications, it was called as prehypertension. The word prehypertension has now been removed. The term to be used is elevated BP. If I have to tell in three lines, remember that anything less than 90th percentile is normal. 90th to 95th is your elevated BP and 95th and above is your hypertension. So, elevated BP for children aged 1 to 13 year, the BP will be equal to or more than 90th percentile but less than 95th percentile. Please remember. These uh, equal to wala jo sign hai, that gets uh, wrong in many of the exams uh, when you give, when the values are very close by. When we say normal BP, it is less than 90th percentile, not equal to or less than. When we say elevated BP, it is equal to or more than 90th percentile, but less than 95th percentile. And Obviously, 95th and above will be your hypertension. So, this is for children aged 1 to 13 years. If for older children, if the systolic BP is between 120 to 129 and diastolic is less than 80, we call it as elevated BP. When do you say hypertension? For a child aged 1 to 13 years, if the blood pressure is equal to or more than 95th percentile or if above 13 year of age, if the BP, systolic BP is 130 and above and or diastolic is 80 and above, then we say there is hypertension in the child. Right? So, as you can see, percentiles are being used in younger children. For adolescents above 13 years of age, we are using absolute cutoffs. These older children and adolescent values are correlating with those which are used by American Heart Association, American Cardiology Society guidelines, which are there for adults. Now, we have talked about normal BP, elevated BP, and uh, definition of hypertension in children. Hypertension, once you have defined, there are further two types of hypertension. We have stage 1 hypertension and stage 2 hypertension. The definition can be a bit confusing, but if you try to understand with a uh, you know cool mind, it will all come to you. So, first is your stage 1 hypertension. Stage 1 hypertension, first age group we define is children aged 1 to 13 years, right? In this age group, there are multiple uh, ways it is defined. So, if the value lies between, BP value lies between 95th percentile to any percentile lower than 95th plus 12, if it lies between these two values, you call it as stage 1 hypertension. Look at this. This is the exact wording which is mentioned in the guidelines. So, BP, if it lies between 95th percentile equal to or more than 95th percentile to any value less than 95th percentile 
plus 12. If it lies between these, we say the patient is having stage 1 hypertension. Suppose uh, a patient is having a 95th percentile value of 100. Just assume. So, 100 will be your lower cutoff, right? And suppose the 93rd percentile value is 96. I will give you an example. Let us assume, assume that a patient was examined, you plotted on a graph where the 93rd percentile was found to be 96 millimeters of mercury and 95th percentile was 100 millimeters of mercury, right? So, these are your values. Hai. So, when will you say the patient is having stage 1 hypertension, right? If the value lies between 100 to 100 is ta taken because it should be equal to or, or more than 95th percentile. So, 100 say leke 100 will be the lower cutoff to any value less than 95th, any jo, jo be lowest possible value hoga which will be mentioned to you in the uh, graph or in the table. So, here it is 96. So, 96 plus 12. So, 96 plus 12 will be 108. So, if a patient is having value between 100 to 108, you will call it as stage 1 hypertension. This is what the literal meaning is. I know it is very tricky. People who are sitting and making the guidelines, it is easy for them to make guidelines. But we, the clinicians, have to sometimes interpret that data. And uh, when I was a student also, I would look at it and I would be like, Yar, what are they trying to say? Why can't they put cutoffs? There are reasons for that, of course. But um, this is the way guidelines have been defined and this is the way we are supposed to remember. So, if the BP value is between 95th percentile, which will be the lowest cutoff, to any value less than 95th percentile, any value will be the immediate lower value after 95th, whichever is given in the chart, plus 12. If this value, uh, this will be the upper limit. If the BP lies between these two ranges, we call it as stage 1 hypertension. To make it even more complicated, they have given another value. They have said, or if the systolic BP is between 130 to 139 divided by diastolic BP of 80 to 89, then also it is taken to be hypertension stage 1. Now, obviously the question arises, suppose these two values are not correlating with each other. So, guidelines say when these two values are different, then the lower value is used to define stage 1. So, whichever is lower, you will use that to define stage 1 hypertension. Second, above 30 years, it is easy, cut off hai, 130 to 139 systolic, diastolic 80 to 89, that will be stage 1 hypertension. For stage 2 hypertension, children aged 1 to 13 years, BP should be 95th percentile and above, whatever value has come, plus 12. Or BP equal to or more than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury, whichever is lower. So, lower value out of these two will be considered to define stage 2 hypertension. In above 13 years of age, BP equal to or more than 140 by 90 millimeters of mercury will be used to define stage 2 hypertension. In the end of this video, I will be taking up some examples of uh, how diagnosis is made, uh, clinical examples, so that the concepts which we have discussed, they are crystal clear in your mind. So, these are the definitions you are supposed to remember. You can't make much changes. You can understand, but you can't make the changes in the language which is there.